Um, yeah, like, I'm gonna say a little bit of a, a classic here. Jen versus VV yes. going hero versus Palu. Uh, over on PS2, it's definitely the classic of the classics, even stage-wise, hello. Yeah, so, obviously, this is, you know, we're going PS2. Yeah, we're going PS2. Uh, PS2. 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 And if I remember correctly, last week, uh, winner's finals, correct? Was Jen versus VV, I want to say it was. Um, but yeah, I, either way, um, Vivi and Jen do have a long history. Uh, at least the last time that I was here, I remember Jen beat Vivi. Yes. Um, and it was one of those sets where it was incredibly close, game three. Um, and it came down to a misinput, right? Um, where it was both players were last stock, and uh, Vivi did an accidental directional air dodge into oh. an explosive flame, right? And, and that, those are the things in these high stakes, because these players will play it real close every time. Those mistakes are going to be happening. Um, however, Right here, Vivi, once again, maintaining center stage, maintaining uh, that advantage. And as, as soon as neutral gets reset and Palu lands, dashes back, throws the, the, um, throws the projectile out. Okay, zoom back to stage, tries to catch it. Ooh, but Vivi actually is able to get a punish off of the attempt to punish zoom. And I think finding the up air, uh, I'm sorry, up throw, up psych throw up. Up really funny. Up uh, throws, uh, you, like, you should have ah. seen, we saw a forward throw, uh, uh, psych up. And it was really funny because it was just all his force going into that. But either way, VB now had a really, really good advantage state up for themselves. Having Sutter a little bit active. Oh, that's why I was now gone. Away, avoiding the Sutter, the Sutter Flame, and barely having enough MP for Swoosh to come back to the stage. And just down to just coming right and taking VB's uh, first stock finally. Well, VB's really have been, has been doing uh, this match, has been, they've been doing uh, all their matches, is using those platforms as a kind of, uh, kind of a house, I, I like to call it. Just because they're protected from the top platform uh, from any really incoming attacks. And they have a little bit of space to start charging up either Frizzle Fizz or Kafriz and charge up any of their uh, their buffs from the menu. Yeah, and we, we've seen again, Vivi is not playing this in, in any modicum of a way aggressively, right? No, this is a, a, a kind of a complete flip of what we saw in you know the Mega Man set. It is super tough for Hero to compete with what Palu can do offensively, right? Uh, however, again, once Celeron is active and you have advantage state, you can start pushing your, the issue a little bit more. Great Fresh read in attack, yep. by, right there by, by Jen. However, and yep, those quick projectile combos coming out for Hero. The uh, neutral beat the forward air. And wow! Coming into the up air. I'm loving That Vivi. was a call out! <laughs> Holy! Vivi has been, has been incorporating a lot of more uh, up airs into their game plans, and it's been working out so well for them in a lot of just either getting out of, such a, out of really complicated ladder situations or just doing hard call outs like they just did right then. That was, <laughs> I cannot stress on how good of a call that was. We'll definitely go back to that. Yeah, yeah. Um, however, um, Vivi right here with stock advantage, however, very much in the high percent range already. Back here's not gonna be killing from center stage just yet, but we are at legend. This is where most of Palu's moves will just start killing uh, that dash attack, that back air. However, F tilt, again, you just wanna get a little bit of extra damage here. Just prevent Palu from getting in. Up throw, or rather up B into the up tilt, not going to work out for Vivi. And if, however, Celeral is very big, allows uh, Vivi, so much more mix. Oh, okay, we're not punishing that. Okay. Probably was expecting a, a parry off of the one mm -hmm. that hits a bit. Okay, yeah, and now you just start playing defensively. You're running away from Palu. Low MP here, but gonna be able to get some of that back with some of those hits. Uh, yeah, wow, dash yeah. back there. You've seen Jen so consistently able to cast those dash backs. Yeah, with I, the dash I think Vivi has actually hesitated after the Pussy Flame, knowing that wasn't gonna hit them, but uh, just dash back just in case. Oh. That killed? That's so funny! Back throw forward air? That wasn't anywhere near true. Jen pressed no, the button. No, absolutely not. Jen that's pressed not. the button. That's but not. That's, that's not. so funny. No, but uh, I was, as I was saying, um, I, th I think VB had just... Uh, that, that was just a Celeron. That was, was no buffs. Yeah, I think, I think Jen was close enough to a blast zone where it was just like, bye. Yeah, early up B, the DI was... I mean, can, can we go back for a second on the DI? Yeah, not good. I about to say, it, look, it looked not good. Yeah, that's that's uh, not ideal um, in terms of the the, the uh, di direction for Palu. You don't want to be diing out there. But um, I think Jen trying. Actually, I don't, he started up be there, so I don't know why he held out. Who knows? Uh, a mystery for another day. Um, no, but he had to go down. Okay, no, I'm just, yeah. Um, all right, anyway, either way, uh, strong yep, start yep. here from from Jen to get uh, uh, a quick 78% without response. Oh, that drift was insane. That was so good. Um, so Usually it's really, it's really easy to catch Hero off of uh, off of the free fall after recovering with uh, Uppy, but unfortunately not getting anything off of that from Jen. 
but Phoebe's at 160%. Zooming back to the stage, going to do, do a call out, and unfortunately not getting the right time, the right positioning on the zoom uh, for an up air. Yeah, okay. However, Jen, now you're seeing Jen just play center stage so, so well. Yep. Back air is not going to be true with that percent range. It's going to be uh, too diable away. Um, Kira has to get back to stage, Accelerado, zoom. Wow, you've got wow. the buff and the zoom out just in time. The scary part of the whole direction actually is that you start falling faster when you have Accelerado active. So okay, you could have it. fallen right to the blast zone yeah. and not gotten anything at all. Yeah, that was so great by Vivi to manage to get back to stage. But Jen ready for the F tilt after um, the uh, tech chase there. And shields back throw takes a stock. Oh gosh, okay, we're back to stage. Bounce is active, kind of taking those projectiles off the table for Palutena. We have Frizzle now at charge up a little bit. Dang, I get, I get, I get out, of these, out of these up airs. Finally getting out of that. Thankfully, only taking only 34% for it. Okay. Yeah, and, that, and that's the thing. Accelerator not only is like a huge neutral tool in terms of how the ball looks to cover space, it's a disadvantage tool, it's an advantage tool. You know, it lets you mix up from the ledge and get back, like, get, get really far back to stage. Yep. That DI was that's not good. That DI was, it was no, it atrocious. <laughs> that, 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 was, that was straight out DI. And so, like, again, you, you get caught from neutral get up a ledge. You're not exactly expecting to get grabbed initially. You're mm -hmm. not ready to DI, right? And, and that throw was so fast. It was like, boom. Um, and it was psyched up as well. Yeah. So, we were exploding. Back air should be true here. No, not going to be able to quite get it that percent. Yeah, Zappo complete. Uh, the little jump that VB did actually is avoid them getting hit by the, by the, uh, the projectiles from Jen. Okay, and we are after like a really dominant first stock by Jen. Back to pretty close to even here. However, should be able to get the, uh, the ledge, the back. What's with hello? Are, Am I we're not going DI insane? We're not DIing today. There's no way that killed normally. There's a zero percent chance that killed normally. <laughs> I, I've Hero seen come heavy. back from that. Hero is heavy. Not that heavy. Where, but that should have killed. Base hundred weight. That should have killed. Let's keep talk about it. Oh my Let's keep gosh. talk about it. All right. Um, Getting kaboom for it. Every time I'm here, it's like everyone's SDing, no one's DIing. We it's some, like, it's, I, it's, I'm, it's, I'm, it's, I'm, it's, I'm, the whole I tournament like this, I promise you. I curse. The entire day. Well, the entire day. The tournament knew that I was coming. That's why. It's. it's like, oh my God, you're Z coming? You got it. Zeno, Zeno knows. Yep. Um, Zeno knows you're, you're, you're coming, you're like, not. Nah. Yeah. Huh? Wait. Yeah, that's what I say. He's at 100. Yeah. Okay. So Vivi uh, has g brought this back quite a bit with all of you know the, the ability for Hero to just jump Palu, maintain advantage. You're dead. Hugh yeah. gets punished off of that forward smash. Yep. There you go. Um, yeah, and, and Jen has been looking for that forward smash off of an air dodge a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, people haven't been biting. Um, however, um, we, you know you get to let people know if the mix is there, right? That people can't air dodge, so you can force other situations at other times. And that I'm, I'm almost positive is what Jen is doing there. Wasn't really afraid to lose that stock. It's, it's been in such a good state here for advantage. Um, now the thing is that Jen has recognized a lot of these habits when they are okay. trying to recover. They're catching a lot of these jump into jump in fairs uh, with uh, just dash backing and then going with the back with the back air while he's trying to recover and oh, doing it over and over again. And now VB is just calling this little bubble. Jen has taking zero damage after the new yeah. stock and just waiting for the uh, drop down from VB into the fair. Yeah, uh, was Love looking that. definitely for jumper air dodge and VB just wasn't fighting. So yeah. Jen was like, "I'm just gonna fair and you're gonna die." You're gonna do it. Gonna yeah. So like, it, when you get to this position here where jump is exp like expended, obviously VB has to recover only one way. And that is going to be very easily too frameable by Palu with down tilt because that move is way too active for its own good. Um, but the down tilt. Oh no, I didn't. No, we didn't do down tilt. Okay, it was just yeah, double. It was just double double, double yep. jump from ledge from the down tilt. And now here, double jump is expended. So hero has like two or three options: drift back, uh, drift, zoom. Uh, zoom, which <laughs> you're pulling out menu. It's going to take a sec. Um, so Palu can just up air that on reaction. Yep. Um, or air dodge, right? No air dodge is expended. As soon as drift back is chosen as the option, Jen understands or that uh, Jen understands that Vivi can no longer air dodge and just fares. Right? Uh, just really good play there by Jen, recognizing what was as soon as one option was expended, the other one's off the table, and uh, can Choosing go for that fair. Yep. Yeah. Choosing the best option for uh, just doing some mental math. Yeah. That's the, but there are so many situations I think that we as Smash players tend to go for a read when a lot of times you can just go for a reaction. And that's just, you know, mentality of good player. Jen just did that right there, right? So we're going over a small battle. We're just completely limiting the top platform for Palu. 
Uh, it was kind of being an issue. It was more of an issue for VB anyway. Couldn't really get out of the upper um, juggles that Jen was keeping them in for so long. As easy as Hero. But now we have a little more of a standard, like, you know, good little neutral, neutral battlefield uh, stage for them. Missing the force. first hit of the Shield Bash of F2. And Jen just taking as much as they can with that down tilt. Maybe I wasn't ready for the invisibility to go away so fast. The tech stage, though, uh, which is super duper important, I think it may have actually just been a roll like attempt. Whoa! Oh my okay. gosh! It's always crazy when it's when it's a, when it's closer when it hits, because um, again, obviously there there, there's no actual guessing; it is completely random. Um, however, catches detail again. Hero is really susceptible to being two framed, especially by moves that are that active. Mm -hmm. um, and Jen obviously knows that after playing hit, uh, Vivi so many times. Down tilt's gonna be a huge tool for Palo at ledge. That fair just barely missing on the uh, read of the dash in. Okay, yeah, you can't pull that menu when Palo's that close to you. Jen on top of that, and does not bite on an initial uh, like spot dodge up tilt. Ends up just dashing back, waiting and punishing accordingly. Back air. Maybe she's having a really difficult time coming back to stage safely. You yeah, know, oh! Air, right, air dodge and doing a little whoosh off stage, tech rolling into Palo's uh, grab. And that's, that was a very similar situation to what we saw before. Jump was expanded, Vivi had two options, air dodge and drift back. And yep. Vivi air dodged that time around. So it's a little, again, there is mix. And Jen reacted to the air dodge, um, but just ended up not working out. Okay, just gonna grab that, knowing the shield was coming out afterward. Oh yeah, and... Oh, swoosh, it's just uh, taking Jen over to the blast zone. Not quite taking it, however. Yeah, and Vivi knew that his resources there were limited, so new and early up B as a mix would be an excellent way to throw off what Jen was doing. That same situation keeps coming up, right? Lack of jump gets detilted, and again, it does just turn into a reaction situation there. Vivi <laughs> didn't click anything. That's where that fair that we saw before works really well, right? Continue, uh, Southern Auto active at the moment. Not being able to go for the cycle, unfortunately, and we're now, but we still have a really good advantage with the about active. Trying to go for the up air, uh, not getting it, unfortunately, just a really tight hitbox on that uh, yeah. on that move, unlike, you know, Palu's up air. Just so, so easy to get. Yeah, and not even attempting it that time around. Got punished uh, two of the last three times that has happened. And, uh, and you're, you're in a position here where if you get, oh, <gasps> death, death. That was good. Yeah, was good. it's a frame trap coming out from Palu. And I was say, if you take this stock. <laughs> yep, the last hit of Kaboom, goodbye. The outer hill kaboom is definitely you gonna can, take it. You can <laughs> consistently air dodge that move. It is so you can. hard. It is so yeah, hard. I think you it, have is, a, it is so hard. No, it's because I'm thinking I'm thinking of Kamikaze, you have like two frames to um, air dodge it. Yeah. So, uh, right here, ooh, um, again, you're just seeing Jed has been so consistent at just keeping Vivi in the corner, which again, Vivi is at his best when he is able to main uh, when they are able to maintain center stage, right? So Vivi just being able uh, not being able to do that. Um, has really made it difficult for them thus far. Um, and just seeing, you know, Jen consistently place, yeah. being able to do that makes it tough. And Jen's a very consistent player, you know, and he's really good at just kind of knowing, and on reaction, like you were saying, no. reacting to what you're about to do in that moment. You have your limit options, and Jen's gonna pretty much be going for them. We're seeing a lot of just uh, straight hits, nothing really confirming into anything. Finally, Jen gained the opening that he was looking for, and catching Vivi on the platform in the back air. Not getting it down till kind of play, playing around the space around him, just okay. knowing that where Vivi's gonna do is just gonna be on reaction and baiting out Vivi's recovery options okay. as much as they can. Those double jumps from ledge, I know that's a hero staple. They're not working out for Vivi right now. Oh, okay. Ooh. Psycho, this. like a gimmick for up throw or up tilt. Actually, forward throw right here as well. There okay. we go. Up tilt's gonna be enough. And obviously, we're in a position that's still really tough for Vivi. But what they do have on the table is a Celerado, which is so big just to start a, a bit of a comeback. But nice. again, those double jump rising fares have not been working for Ledge for Vivi. Been very, very difficult for them to get back to stage. Going with the simple nair to try to get uh, all, all the space around them. Oh my covered. god, you might die. You this might die. Might be. You might die. We still only have Fizzle off the ledge. Nothing off the Celerado. Fair? No, we're turning for away from the fair. And we have a very serious game right now. Down tilt, not gonna do anything. Okay. For VV, no sizzle either. Okay, and we're low on MP, but that background shield is the so up big. No the up tilt is what? enough to take the stock. A what were we at? full. Oh my god. A full. Look, I think three stock. Technically a three stock comeback because that last stock, uh, Jen kept such a late percent. Um, with the go. hero. Not yeah, jumped the in, here, Vivi. Jumping. Vivi, Vivi just going ready. in for the up, up tilt kills yeah, 105. They're, crazy. they're nasty. 
I was not expecting up to the kill 105%. The thing is, so a lot of the time, like the position that we see, uh, I'll let it play. Yeah. A little play. Thank a you. lot of the time, the position that we see hero going for up tilt is like, like not not like necessarily the maximum tipper edge of that up tilt, right? Because we know that yeah, move yeah, is yeah. strong, mm -hmm. right? But it's not like crazy strong. Yeah, that's but like yeah. when Palu, who is super light, is at the absolute absolute tipper range of the move, and you're gonna see Vivi's gonna go for back here to the floor. Back here, and Jen then is going to jump, and you're like, I'll go back a couple times yeah. here, but. This is like the absolute most tipper range, and a lot of times we don't really consider, we're like, oh, that else has killed. Why did that kill? I'm really not used to killing at that percent, or in this case, it's, a, it's an up tilt, right? This is at the absolute tipper range of the move, meaning no, Palu, like, yeah. Palu is closer to the blast zone, because she's at full hop height. That's exactly so, where it is. And then blast zone, we're about to see it right now. We zoom out. Yeah. So, she dies. Yep. I just get sent right into the blast zone up here. Yeah, and when you still and wasn't. A, a yeah. lot of times when you're in the middle of, of like a, a move like that, it's tough to see where you have to DI. I'm not sure if here is one of those moves where you always DI in front of him, or it's depending on what side you're on. Um, there are a lot of moves.